Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. We'll fix it team. So this little video I put together, I put together over the weekend, or I, I did shots of footage over the weekend. But I'm getting, I'm just kind of you know pulling out things as the you know days go on. Anyhow, this is a hit and miss building where hit and miss engines are in there like on display running, and you're going to see an engine that goes that turns for a second. And this is for people who've never seen these things before for the first time. So I'm giving you a little explanation because I couldn't talk a whole lot because I had a whole crowd of people around me. I didn't want them thinking I was weird, like talking to my phone <laughs> and having to explain to a thousand people that hey, I'm doing a YouTube channel. Everybody don't pay me no mind. Anyhow, so to explain what was going on, when, you, when I walk in that building, you're going to see an engine that turns for a little bit and it goes kaploop. That's a hit and miss. When it goes kaploop, turns for a little bit, slows down. Kaploop, that's called a hit and miss because it hits, then it misses for several rounds till it t slows down, the latch out kicks out, the ignition plate takes place when it lets the exhaust valve close off, and then it goes kaploop, and then it spins for a while till it slows down. Now, if it was under a load, it would it would hit more, but since it's freewheel and it can kind of just that big fly, those two big flywheels create centrifugal force, and it just kind of rolls along till it slows down. Now, check this out. Uh, well, uh, at, when I, you'll see an engine that's going toos, 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 and it's got a little whistle behind it. That's called a throttle governor engine. And this is before carburetors were, had really been finited and they had the whole concept of, you know, how this would all work. And they were just developing things and learning as they went. But that engine actually works by adjusting the intake valve uh, duration and lift. And so it limits how much air can get in that cylinder, which limits how much combustion takes place, which limits the RPMs considering under load. There's little counterweights that make all that happen. And you'll see where I video part of the little, this little cone shaped thing as it moves around back and forth. That's the little centrifugal force that's used to work the governor part that actually moves the valve, the lift. Kind of, if you think about it, it's kind of a, a backwards way of doing it, but it was ahead of its time because Mercedes used variable valve lift under low RPMs called Vanos. But anyhow, I'll digress on that. Another video. But I'm gonna here's the, I'm gonna cut to it, guys. And it's it's just actually kind of like one of those very satisfied videos where you'd be like, you can like watch things kind of cut and everybody can watch it. So enjoy the very satisfying hit and miss motor making their little journey. Y'all, thank you for tuning in to We'll Fix It Team.